Good morning, guys. Today we are up in Oxford visiting some of my extended family, uh, and we have uh, a little bit less of a boat related day. Oxford is really cool because as architect we're kind of nerding out about how old the buildings here. There are some of the there are some of the oldest museum and universities in the world in this town. It's, it's so amazing. Uh, yeah, some of the buildings here are over a thousand years old. Yeah, and and <laughs> Oxford is where they film some scenes of a couple of movies like Harry Potter. And if you know me, you know I'm a giant Harry Potter mega fan. Just <laughs> so I, I am not leaving until I found one of the sets that they were filming Harry Potter in, at least one. So let's go. Our history slash culture professor will nerd out when I tell her that I remember the Corinthian columns. <laughs> So it says here that this church has actually been here for more than a thousand years. Uh, it's gone through a couple of renovations, but it's pretty amazing to think it's that old. Can you imagine that like standing on 200 year old tombs? <laughs> like. There's 200 year old dead people underneath my feet right now. They call them martyrs. Although neither of us are very uh, religious people, churches for us are really cool because it's often the place that cultures spend the most time and money building and preserving. And so they're usually the best sort of look back into history. And it's kind of amazing to think that in essence, this is just a pile of rocks, but it's absolutely beautiful. Rocks and dead people. Oh my gosh, enough with the dead people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are in Christ Church and I think I remember somebody saying that this is where they filmed a part of Harry Potter. Uh, we can't really visit most of this place because it's, uh, it's actually a university and you have the students here in residence. So, but there are sections that we can see. So, let's go. Okay. Where are we? What are we doing? I have no idea. We're just gonna, we're just gonna walk. Oh my! It's, this whole place is just so surreal. Oh my The hall here is what they were inspired from to create the Great Hall in Hogwarts. So the Great Hall itself for the movie is a prop set, but this one is where they got the inspiration from, so it's really cool. And also, I just realized that the staircase down here is the staircase in the movie. In the, in the first movie, you probably will recognize it. This is really cool because we came here and I saw this and in my head, I wasn't entirely sure, so I had to ask, and I got confirmation that this staircase is the one where, when Harry Potter, in the very first movie, the first time they come into Hogwarts, and they all meet up before they go to the Great Hall, and Neville drops his frog, and they meet Draco, and Draco's really mean about it, but that's the scene. That, that's the scene, guys. Fun fact, this is this place is called Radcliffe Square. This is actually where Rad, Daniel Radcliffe, well, Daniel Radcliffe went to school here and Emma Watson also went to school here. So although they didn't name the square after them. They didn't no, they didn't name the school after them, but Oxford area is where they went to school. So that's kind of cool. So if you want to be an actor or write a book, because this is also where they wrote 
uh, Lord of the Rings. Oxford is also where Daenerys Targaryen, the mother of dragon, Emily Clark, that's where she went to school as well. And this is, Oxford is also where Alice in Wonderland was written in. So I am literally blown away. <laughs> Literally, look at this. Look at this hair. <laughs> we're walking downwind. Um, yeah, but it's getting kind of late. So yeah. we're going to go check out a few more things, but then start heading back before it gets dark. We are not the only ones here taking pictures, so it's not weird at all that I have a camera pointing at me. That's why I'm not shy about it today. <laughs> One day is not even close to enough time to wander around here. Oh, this alley looks cool. I also think that um, another reason why it's cool is because we spent years learning about these places in school and it's, it's so different to be able to touch and feel and smell and, <laughs> and just like see it for ourselves and this is how this is how Dan and I actually like learning by being yeah. there so oh my gosh this it's, is just amazing it's been amazing to actually like feel touch smell experience yeah. in real life these places sorry this one's not exactly <laughs> boat related but uh, yeah we're nerding out about architecture today yeah. check out this alley Beautiful. <laughs> of course, I am. Yeah, hold this. It's so freaking cool. You gonna buy one? <laughs> this is the biggest impulse buy that I've ever done. <laughs> I just got my wand. So, oh, and I also got a notebook because they had it and I love notebooks and so why not? But yeah, it wasn't that bad. It was like 30 pounds, but it's really something that just has nothing to do with anything. But it's awesome. All right, All right guys. That's um, it for our magical tour of Oxford. It's uh, it's kind of starting to rain. I think yeah. this is the weather that uh, everyone warned us about. So we're going to try to find some shelter and get back. Um, it's about a 10 minute walk. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed our magical tour of Oxford today. I know it's short and not really butt related, but we had yeah. fun. This one's a bit of a Harry Potter fan. Yeah, and I've got the best, best impulse buy ever. <laughs> Can you even check to see if it worked? Should I? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Vanessa! Guess that means I'm walking home. <laughs>